There's a number of options that students can individually take, but it's still based on this overall idea of local control because each individual district has the opportunity to put in place their own graduation requirements. Do they base it solely on uh, academic performance in the classroom? Do they base it solely on standardized testing? Or do they base it on what's called a portfolio of their work, which could include tests, it could include presentations or projects. There's a number of things that they can choose, but it's up to the individual districts, the new RSUs, the regional school units, to make that decision. And what this overall diploma change is going to entail, which is in place in 2016, it's going to individualize the learning opportunities for each individual student. Because each student will have their own plan based upon the syllabi that's in place by each course. And this is all going to be online. It's going to be a web-based program through multiple opportunities, multiple course opportunities, which again is going to increase educational accountability through this idea of local control. And this is, hasn't been, the whole idea of diploma requirements hasn't been tampered with for 25 years. So this is a huge change that's going to be in place. A lot of teachers have mixed feelings about this because there's a, not, a lot of extra work that has to be in place, but it's going to individualize the education opportunity for each individual student which is critically important because there's a large disparity between educational opportunities in northern Maine and southern Maine. Uh, you take Thornton Academy, for instance, there's a wide array of courses that you can choose from. Seven, for instance, dealing solely based on foreign languages. If you look at a school, let's take the Washburn District up in Purim, Maine, uh, which is way north, one, they have just French. So just based on course selection, there's a huge disparity. So hopefully by placing these new diploma requirements in place in 2016, not only will we sure up the gap between this disparity between Northern and Southern Maine educational opportunities, but it'll individualize the educational opportunity, which will hopefully make what you're learning in the classroom relevant to real world.